Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy for the After Years. Well, we are going to be buying something in the in the castle. I think these guys all say the same thing. Uh, no, that's the item shop. I want to buy a metal boomerang. It's a little better. It's the only thing I care about to get for edge. Now I'll put you here. Waxing moon is fine, by the way. In fact, it's probably the best uh, phase of the moon for this chapter because it doesn't affect any of our stuff negatively. Arguably, anyway. So anyway, let's head west to the Cape of Iblon. I don't believe there's any any enemies on the world map. I don't think so. Yeah, sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, and I don't think there's any in this chapter. But yeah, we're gonna go to the edge of Iblon. Go east of the wall. Now, as for Edge himself, grab another one here. Yeah, and that's also that I really need to get over there. We're gonna go west, uh, or uh, sorry, we're gonna go east here and then go across the bridge and grab that chest. Now, as for Edge himself, uh, he is extremely good. Uh, he's arguably the best character in the game. He's certainly one of them, he's in the top five. Uh, he's got excellent ninjutsu, he has the throw command that can throw weapons, he has the mug command, which I'll go ahead and show you. Which, yeah, it's basically steal and attack in one, which is an upgraded version of his steal command. Although I don't really use the mug command, but it's there. I prefer regular stealing so I don't actually kill the enemy, but it is there. Uh, technically speaking, I guess it's better to use it than your normal attack, but I just tend to use his normal attack personally, but he could go either way. Anyway, uh, as far as the silver breastplate is concerned, uh, if we don't lose a multiplier, I'm going to want to use that. And I don't think we're going to lose a multiplier. No. We lose a little bit of speed, but not a big deal. Once the Shinobi gear gives us a multiplier, which I don't think will happen until later. If ever, really. Uh, I'm not going to use it. You could use flame here, but why bother? But yeah, Edge is basically like all the uh, Eblon 4 in one, except you can't use like the unique weapons like spears, bows. Uh, what else can you not use? Axes, hammers, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna head east. Head down here. This should be a uh, cottage. I'll get that other chest in a second. You could get them in any order, either order. It doesn't matter. This should be the cottage, right? Yeah. The other thing should be a mithril glove. What you do want for edge. I'm going to go ahead and equip those. You lose a little bit of magic defense, but the defense is better, so... I think it's worth it. Yeah, Edge has just fantastic stats. He's got, I think, the best overall combination of strength and speed for multipliers. He's got uh, decent stamina. I mean, not amazing, but, you know, he's back row compatible with boomerangs anyway. Uh, he's got, you know, good intellect, good spirit. Uh, he doesn't have quite the healing that um, Easy Way has, but, you know, you take what you can get. So, yeah, he's one of the best characters in the game. Pretty much, unless you're playing the 3D version where Izioi is arguably better than him, he's the best of the five ninjas. But again, that's kind of unfair comparison. I mean, he's like all of them in one. Yeah, I want to give the rune armlet to Edge because he's quite good. He's in the back row and, you know, it, it, it helps him out. Yeah, I know. We had that those mithril gloves for all of five seconds, but I mean, it was the principle of the matter for equipping them. 
usually I end up getting, you know, a cutscene, but hey. Or not a cutscene, a fight. But I didn't. Anyway, there's an optional cutscene here. Well, I mean, that's the plan. We're going to stop whatever's going on, I guess. Let's get going into the path to Babel. Okay. We want to go... Now, the high potion right in front of us. Uh, these guys just attack. Again, I could edit out a lot of battles, but why not? Why bother? We're alone. Uh, let's see. As far as Ninjitsu is concerned, I would really only use Flame against uh, Mystery Eggs. Or I would attack them and then use uh, Flame against the Lilith that spawns out of it. Manji Shuriken, that's a better Shuriken. I might throw that eventually with... Uh, Gecko, although I don't think so. But we'll see if I need to. Well, actually, I will be throwing that. Yeah, almost certainly. Uh, in fact, I will definitely be throwing that for uh, Gecko later. Get the high potion. Yeah, we got that. Back to the wall. Go to the next section. I always liked how this dungeon was designed with the, you know, everything kind of, you know, loops in on different old rooms and stuff. I'm going to go northwest and we're going to get a emergency exit up there. I mean, the blood bones are weak to fire. You could use flame, but the soul absorbs it. And Edge can one shot everything anyway. And he's so fast that most enemies aren't going to get a turn. The Lilith, though, can counter with uh, Entice. That's why I would, uh, oh, no, not these guys. Weak to projectiles, so that'll help. Attack. It's not even that the attack takes that long. The reason why that attack is so annoying is because it's all they do. Like, there's no battle you get with those guys where, you know, they just attack you physically. They don't have a physical attack. That's the problem. Oh, here we are. So, yeah, we're going to use Flame here. Which should one-shot them. If you want to get the Lilith Bestiary entry that's inside there, just go ahead and... Uh, oh, no, I didn't actually kill him. Wow. Normally that will one-shot the... Well, it wasn't a Lilith there, so that's why. <laughs> Usually it's a Lilith, so that was kind of shocking, but... I would still chance the uh, flame to get the Bestiary entry for the egg, because, you know, eventually you'll get a uh, one that's a Lilith. It shares the weakness, basically, with the Lilith, but that one didn't. It was a Needle Hog. But you can't tell that until you attack the enemy. But yeah, the mystery egg can be a Lilith, and Liliths are annoying because they will counter and confuse you, and we're alone, that would be a problem. Or they can charm you or something. It's that enticed thing that they always do. Yeah, now we're gonna go south here. So flame's the way to go, because they're weak to it, it'll one-shot them. But that wasn't the Lilith. But yeah, that's the only enemy I would really use stuff on. Uh, ninjutsu. Edge doesn't really need to use it on anybody else. Oh, oh, here it is. Let's try this again. Is this the Lilith? Nope, another Needle Hog. You'll be able to tell, because you'll do a ton of damage with Flame, because it's super weak to it. Not a big deal. If I don't fight the thing, I don't fight the thing. Just use Flame on it. Or attack it, and then use Flame on it. If it does survive the Flame spell, which... I don't think it would, but if it does survive it the first time in the egg, then just do it again. Maybe if I got ambushed by a large group of undead, I would use Flame all. Just to, you know, be more efficient. 
But yeah, Ninjutsu actually got a huge buff in this game. Uh, unlike, you know, the original FF4. Uh, there's tier two Ninjutsu now. And they're basically like tier three spells. I mean, they're ridiculously good. Wait, we want to go west first. I'm trying to think whether I wanted to go in the door first or go west, but no, we're going to get a weapon for Edge over here. Get a Kogarasu. It's slightly better. Oh no, I want to replace the Kodachi. Slightly better. Might as well give it. I think it's a new actual weapon. Anyway, you can save if you want, but we're gonna go over here. We're almost done with, uh, actually the, the dungeon. So I'm gonna go ahead and save here. I'll probably end this early. Let's do a little short episode. Uh, there it is, jeez. Uh, I'm gonna make it a new moon now. Now I will warn you, during a new moon, you can encounter a behemoth outside. Do not fight it without a full party. Uh, it only counters, so, you know, if, if you want to fight it, uh, you would want to have basically only one character attacking. Uh, put whoever has Mirage up to use Blink, basically, and just, you know, take it very slow. Uh, but you're going to want a full party before you fight the Behemoth, for sure. But yeah, we're going to want to uh, make it a new moon now, which we should have enough tents and cottages to do that. We'll use a cottage for one of these. Unfortunately, it means doing it three times, but it is what it is. We should be able to make it through the entire dungeon during a new moon without having to reset the moon phase. Pretty short. Oh, as far as the behemoth is concerned, he drops a power armlet, power sash, or a headband. I don't think it's worth it. Alright, yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.